Hi Stampers, it's Christy with Stampin' Texas. Well, I have got another fun Christmas card to share with you. We are going to make a snowflake card, and I know right now it's not all put together, but that's okay. Just hang with me for a few minutes and you will see how to do it. The stamp set comes from the holiday catalog, this one here called Flurry of Wishes so cute and let me show you a quick tip couple things if you see in the catalog that see how this image has a yellow um, outline and these do too that means those have punches that coordinate with it and look there is the snow flurry punch the other thing I wanted to show you from the catalog is always look for these areas that are bundles. They will save you 15% when you purchase the punch with the coordinating stamp set. Great way to save. So let me share with you the measurements you're going to need for the card. First, the card base is Soft Sky and it's an eight and a half by five and a half card that I've scored and folded. The next piece is just Whisper White now I know I've got mine punched out and I'm going to share with you how you can use a mat. This is going to be our mat, but you can also punch out the pieces you need from under there to save paper. So the mat piece is a five and a fourth by four. And then another piece of soft sky that's going to go on top is a five by three and three fourths piece. Okay, so let's start with giving you a few tips about how to stamp and punch these guys right here. First, on the stamp set, this large image, oh actually I've put it on a block for you. You're going to want to make sure that one of the large tips are pointing down along the bottom of your paper. So I would stamp that first right there. You don't want to go to the middle and you don't want to go up too high. The idea is to stamp it somewhat low so that when you take your punch, you can just slide it up there and it'll line up. Okay, so that's the big snowflake. Now the smaller snowflakes, this is really handy. They are connected. It's not two separate images. So I just turned my paper this way. So now we're gonna stamp these two on there, just like that. And I stamped in Island Indigo ink. I think I forgot to mention that. But then when you take the punch again you're just gonna slide it up it matches up you punch it out now let's just assemble everything so I'm gonna get my snail adhesive in here put adhesive all around my edges I just love stamping up products when they coordinate like this and no fussy cutting for me. I love punches and framelits and all those things that cut out fun shapes. Okay, so I've stuck that down. Let's go ahead and stick that to the card front. So again, a little bit more adhesive. Isn't that fun? See, nobody's even going to know that you've punched out your pieces from behind there. So we'll put that on our card base. like so and then I think I want to put my large snowflake maybe kind of pop him up you can kind of arrange these whichever way you want but I think I'm gonna put a couple dimensionals do you notice look at my dimensionals isn't that funny I use every last bit and I cut off whatever size I need so I'm going to put that on there go peel off that backing kind of just stick that there and I think I'll just put these other two on flat and wouldn't these look cute with some extra rhinestones I didn't even think of that till just putting it together now hmm, I guess I can add that easily enough but there you go a fun quick easy card so cute for Christmas you are just going to love the holiday catalog so for more fun project ideas be sure to visit my blog, stampintx.com, and also like me on Facebook. You can also get tons of information in the description box below for this card and many others. 
Thanks so much. Happy stamping.